hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be a really fun video i am going to be creating this look for you guys and um i just think it's so cute because i never wear like cute pink colors like this so i'm like why not just do like a cute little pretty and pink look you know if you guys want to know how to create this look just keep on watching all right guys so before i start i am going to link everything down below so you guys know what i'm using because most of my brushes all the numbers and the brands already came off so i'll for sure put that down below okay so the first thing i'm going to go in is with my primer um this one is by mac it's the paint pot and the color painterly so for my brows i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hills the pomade and the color dark brown So then when your eyebrows are in, um, you're going to go ahead and clean them up. Um, so when I define my brows on top, I use my foundation. So when I blend my other foundation, it can match. It won't be like a white cast, you know, because under here I use a concealer. So the foundation that I'm currently using right now, it's um, this one, the same one as my last video that I did to get ready with me. Um, it's the L'Oreal in Flam. What is it called? inflammable foundation this foundation is so good guys like i wear this like i said before i could wear this all day from morning to night and it works good it works good it works good So now we're gonna bring this down and just blend it out and then you'll be done and then you're gonna go in with like any fluffy brush I'm gonna use like something like this and then I'm gonna get this is my actual powder for my face and I, it's the makeup forever matte velvet skin this is a really really good powder guys I recommend you guys to get this one because I have like an oily t-zone and this all night i don't really gotta like reapply or like you know it works good though this is in the color y315 so i'm just gonna get a little bit of this and then i'm gonna set the primer and the concealer right here so i'm gonna crease okay so those are the brows i love them I love when I have like a good ass eyebrow day. I'm like, okay, bitch, like here we go. Like, okay. So since I'm gonna freestyle this look, I don't really wear pink, guys. Hopefully it doesn't come out like too crazy dark, you know. But I think what I'm gonna do is do like a light kind of look, but like add some glitter, like something cute, like you know. So I'm gonna get like a little blending brush like this. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this color burnt orange, and that's gonna go on my crease. <clears throat> make sure when you guys do this you guys do like very light strokes you could do either side to side or like circular motions i do both it just depends on how much i gotta blend out the color so and then I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm use this color right here. And then just go in that crease again. I'm going to start working it inwards from the corner of my eye. You guys should go back in with your first um, blending brush. And then just try to just blend any um, harsh lines that you have. And just so it can all come together. You're going to go with your... Um, that paint pot by mac and you can use again any like synthetic brush for this too you're just gonna right here you gotta be kind of careful and try to make this line or this little half moon as straight as possible so i'm gonna use the artist couture purple dream it's like a little a highlight but it's so pretty it's like 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's so pretty. It's like very corally. So I'm going to set that on my lid. And then also I'm going to use uh, the NYX Dewy Finish. So I'm going to use like a flat brush like this. And I'm going to spray my brush. And then I'm just going to go in the lid. Oh my god, guys. This is so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my liquid liner. It's by the Sephora brand. If you guys are going to try out this um, liner, make sure you guys get the brush that's a thin, fine line. Because this one is just easier to like glide on your eye. So eyeliner does take a lot of practice, guys. So just don't get frustrated. It's okay. Just practice. Just practice. I don't really do a thick liner because I have small eyes and if I do a thick liner it's going to cover my whole lid and my eyes are just going to drop. So I do recommend if you guys have small eyes to do a thin and if you want to do it thick just make it thick at the edge you know because girl your eyes will drag the fuck down and that is not cute. So just a tip. <laughs> and then you're going to curl your lashes. Then you're gonna go in with any mascara that you use. Does anybody recommend like a good mascara? Like, I feel like this this brush is very bulky. I want like a small, defined little brush, you know? So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. The lashes that I've been using, um, I bought these at like any like beauty store. If you guys have a Bobo's beauty supply near you, I get my lashes from there. They are five bucks, a little pricey, but i reuse these lashes like the ones that i have right now they're like going on like my sixth time that i use them the i envy and these lashes are so pretty like your eyes just look super like open it gives you like that cute like little like butterfly look you know it's just fucking cute so and like i told you guys before in the last video where i got ready um my eye my eyelids are really sensitive so i have to use certain you know glue or like lashes like the band has to be thin so this one has been really good for my eyes it hasn't irritated them or nothing so and then i try to get as close to the lash band as i can all right guys so now that my lashes are on um <laughs> did i just go so dumb. I'm gonna go with my foundation. So again, I do mix these two together. You can go on with any beauty blender that you want. I'm using this one. And um, I just start dabbing my foundation out. Then I'm gonna go in with my LC Cosmetics concealer in the light. I thought it said light warm, light medium. So this concealer is really, really good. It just really covers your bags, dark circles, like and it's super nice and creamy and it just glides on your eye so i do a little bit on my nose and then a little bit very lightly then i'm gonna go in with like a little sponge like this and i just use this to get everything into place and these little spots that i miss i usually look up just to really get under my eye make sure you guys blend it out as much as possible and then you're gonna go in with your beauty blender and then blend out any harsh lines, any extra product, just so I won't look too white. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this powder. I did show you guys and tell you guys about this um, powder on my last video. And I use this strictly for under, just like my eyes and my T-zone to set the concealer that I just put on. So this color is Fair One. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E40 brush. And then just set your T-zone. I'm going to go in with any powder brush that you have. It could be fluffy. It could be as long as it's like a fluffy brush. Then I'm going to use my um, powder compact. Whatever I didn't set with that powder for under my eyes, I'm going to set the rest. To seal my under eyes, and my t-zone i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the laura mercier the setting powder and i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and then get under that eye you don't have to put so much um 
just enough to set it and you don't have to really blend it out i am going in with my hula by benefits this is a really really good um bronzer it just like it's not orange you get what i'm saying so it just looks really pretty and then also you're going to go in with any angled brush that looks like this or it could be like something like this i only use this when i contour my nose but either or is fine i'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush one more time and it's really important that you guys really blend out your neck because you don't want to be looking to the side and your shit ain't blended you know it's just not cute and same thing with your nose um you're gonna go in with any little small fluffy brush like this and then just blend out those lines i do use a cream blush it's by nyx i believe it's in the color rose petal i'm using a brush like this That coral um, color that I used inside my eye, I'm going to use that as a highlighter. I'm going to go in with my Morphe E61 brush. Just like a little fluffy brush like this. I use that for my highlight. And I'm going to spray my brush with the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. And then grab a little bit. I don't really use no like... No eyeliner in my eye nothing because my eyes again they're sensitive and if i put eyeliner my eyes will water on it so it just sucks you know so i just kind of just keep it like this and then um i add some light mascara on my lash so any powder that I got on my lash i could just darken it up i'm gonna go in with the nyx liner in the color natural And then I kind of just um, blend it in a little bit. Going with my MAC lipstick in the color of Velvet Teddy. This is a really pretty brown. It's like very like neutral. It goes with every look, you know. And then to add a gloss on top, I am going to go in with Daniel. If you're watching me, this is yours. <laughs> I still have it. <laughs> but um, actually, my friend Daniel lent me this lip gloss when I was at his house at his party. And... He's like, here, try this gloss. It's so pretty. So I put it on, and he's like, hold it for me. So I put it in my purse, and I totally forgot to give it back to him. So Daniel, I have your lip gloss. But guys, this is a, a good-ass lip gloss. It's by Haas Laboratories. And this is in the color Riot. No, this is in the color Gorset. Okay, Gorset. That's cute. And then I just put it in the middle of my lip. And then last but not least, I'm going to spray my face with the same NYX spray. And this is the finished look, guys. Alright guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. And... If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Vanessa. So nice to see you here. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.